it's after entering my phone number it took me here it brought me here um i had to enter another phone number that same i entered there's no more on my phone so yeah let's go to new application application type if you are qualified outside of the uk please select international application number leave blank this will be generated okay so international have you pre previously applied no let me just but is, this is not me i'm just assuming this is um, a dummy account of or someone that is just about to uh, apply okay so these are the listed professions so thank god we have it here we have art therapist biomedical scientist chiropodist clinical scientist dietitian hearing aid pyramid blah 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 please for people who studied please ensure that this is what you studied in school in the university to be specifically now I'll be addressing people that did medical laboratory science in the university please tied to medical laboratory science and not any other course so. uh -huh. because this thing involves money and time don't waste your money ensure that you must have studied medical laboratory science in nigeria and you've worked in the same capacity at least for a period of one year okay so let's go to biomedical scientists now medical laboratory scientists are called biomedical scientists in the uk in, the, in Nigeria, they are called medical laboratory scientists. In the UK, they are called biomedical scientists. Now, depending on the country you are from, it might be called different names. But I know more of the country where I trained. I trained as a medical laboratory scientist. And it's the same profession as biomedical scientist in the UK. Yeah, so biomedical scientist. Are you applying with refugee? Or oh, are you applying? It should be no. I confirm that I've read. Yeah. You should read all of this, please. Yeah. Um, save and continue. So, um, I'm also going through this for the first time, so let's just do it. Please note if you're applying as this, this and this, you need to select modality box and add the relevant modality you wish to apply on that. Okay, if you're applying for any other profession, then you don't need. So, in our case, it's biomedical scientist. We don't need it. Any specialism. If you're applying as a clinical scientist, please select a specialism. So, yeah. So, we don't need all of this. Let's just proceed. Um, let me see. I'm a... This is... Depending on whatever your case is. Date of birth. Let's just select... I just select something. Oh, one. Oh, one. Oh, one. Two thousand and one. Let's do it that way. Nine, Nigeria. Please upload proof of identity. So here you start uploading your documents. I'm just doing this so that I will know what it entails. So upload your documents here. Go to add files and check where it is on your phone. Save and continue. Your details. So your sex, nationality, save and continue. Okay. So apparently I need to fill in something. Nigeria. I don't know why it's not going. Let's do. Okay. Let's just search for Nigeria. So I'm Nigerian. Select. Yeah. So. Save and continue. I would see how far I can go. Um, all of these are important. Okay. Let's just enter the one, two, three. Let me enter that my old number now.
all this star important you get it all those places that start red are important so if there's need for you to okay of course there's need for you to provide proof of address and i mentioned that you prove you can make use of your account statement so just save and continue i pray that it keeps on allowing me to do all of this so i will add my qualification please tell us about your qualification the qualifications you owe that are relevant to the profession you're applying for please only approve what is applicable to this whatever if you have msc maybe you did medical laboratory science and you have msc you might still leave that aside the most important thing for you at this stage of registration with the ATPC is your bsc so just add your because for each qualification you upload you need to provide the course information form i don't know if that makes sense so i hope you get it let's do save and continue professional experience um tell us about your professional experience as relevant so what you can do in this place is like maybe like on a just type a word document talking about your professional experience there you talk about your role your job description what you do i think you should get it basically you talk about your job description your professional experience that's what it is yeah so um professional membership so tell us about any professional registration you could with other regulatory bodies so um for us now medical laboratory scientists we are we are registered with the medical laboratory science council of nigeria so here you had your license and um yeah Is English your first language? Yeah, this is what I was saying. Yes. Please upload your test certificate. So if you have, if you choose a test other than this, you will need to provide the document demonstrating. Please upload. You only need to upload the test certificate if you answered no to English being your first language. If you answered yes, you can move. So, okay. So, in this case, if you have already answered yes, just move to the next. Um, you don't necessarily need to, since you've already said yes, you don't necessarily need to add the proof of English. Okay. Declaration. Character and health. In this section, you can give details of any health condition. Okay. So, have you been convicted? No. Have you disciplined with discipline? No. Have you, your own case might be yes, so just feel what it is. Have you had civil proceeding other than no? Are you... No. no if you have answered yes please upload documents if your answer has been yes save and continue yeah. do you have any physical mental health condition no so if you have answered yes still the same thing for you so you have to declare i declare that i declare i declare i declare i declare i declare so please read through all of this and um So I think it's flagging all of this because apparently I've not submitted them. And I guess okay, in submitting application, I confirm that the information is there. So I think because I've not submitted it would not take me to the next phase. So um yeah. So this is it guys. Thank you for tuning in thank you for watching this video i hope you find this video helpful please subscribe share like my video and leave me a comment below um i mentioned in the first in the previous video about a particular hcpc group it's a group on telegram and is a do-it-yourself group like once you are there you're sure that once you read through the pin messages and go through you make use of the search button almost all your questions would have been answered one way or the other you can also make use of um no um i was supposed to come to here yeah, frequently ask question how do i know if i should apply if there's a fee um okay 
for information on fees so let's just quickly check information on fees before we should do it so yeah just read through your, the frequently asked questions read through them is there a fee i'm trying to see I think it's been downloaded. Let me just see. The fee. Yeah, so there are some um, important documents you should download. This um, document is very important. Guidance for international applicants. Please download it and go through it. Apart from what people tell you, once you have this document, which you see completing the form, your details, everything you need is on this document. Yeah, so please... Try to go through the document and if you are confused, you can ask your questions. You can ask your questions. Um, I really don't know why I can't see the fee. I want to assume the fee is somewhere. Yes. Um, but basically, you'll be paying twice. Oh, yeah. Thank God. It's here. Yeah. Paying your scrutiny fee. The first fee is your scrutiny fee. The scrutiny fee is in one of non-refundable payments, so you only pay scrutiny fee once. This fee is for the assessment of your application. Once you have submitted your application online, you will be asked to pay your scrutiny fee online. Your application will not be complete until this is this payment is made. So the first fee is your scrutiny fee, which is five hundred and thirty nine point six five pounds. The second fee is, a, is a, your registration fee. Now this fee. Is being renewed every two years. Now we have something called professional years. That's still you might not need all of that now, anyways. But just know that you'd keep on paying your um your registration fee will be renewed part time. So yeah, I think it's one hundred and something. Um, I'm trying to see if I would see the registration fee here, but it's not here. If your application is successful, you receive a second. Okay, the, you first receive a first payment link for your scrutiny fee. So once your application is successful, you get that of the registration fee link. That's about two hundred and something pounds. I think one hundred and around one hundred and eighty. I'm not sure what the exact figure is. Okay, so sorry about that. But the scrutiny fee is what it is stated here. So, um, yeah, I think depending on the amount they ask you, I think the registration fee could vary sometimes depending on the time you are applying. Like this, they call something professional cycle. So, maybe by the time you are applying, so it is getting towards the end of a particular professional cycle. So, they will let you know the amount to pay. So, it's not like it's something static, which I hope you understand. So, thank you for tuning in once again.